Hi everybody, this is Ellen from the Somerville Public Library with another cooking demonstration. Today we're going to make baked macaroni and cheese. Um, if you've ever had Kraft macaroni and cheese or Annie's, I'll be honest, I like both of those, but this is like a completely different dish and it's also very good. So here's what you're going to need. A one pound box of pasta. Elbows are traditional. I'm using these larger ones, but uh, you can use the regular size ones or really any kind of pasta you want. Butter, flour, milk, cheese. So my recipe calls for four cups of grated cheddar and one and a half cups of Romano, but you can use really anything that you like. I'm gonna use a combination of cheddar and Gruyere because the Gruyere has a nice nutty flavor and it also contributes a lot to the gooiness. And I don't have any Romano, I'm gonna use this shredded Parmesan, should work just fine. And then for the crumb topping, some panko breadcrumbs, salt, pepper, nutmeg, smoked paprika, parsley flakes, a little tiny bit of cayenne pepper and black pepper. Again, uh, you can adjust the seasonings and add what you like and don't put in what you don't. So the first thing to do is to cook the pasta um, and cook it about two minutes less than the package directions say because it's gonna cook more in the oven. While the pasta is cooking, um, we'll make the crumb topping and shred the cheeses. So for the crumb topping, you need one cup of these panko breadcrumbs. Um, the panko crumbs are Japanese, they're very crispy. You could probably use a different kind of crumb, but um, this is what the recipe calls for and what I like. Um, then I have three tablespoons of melted butter. I'm just gonna drizzle that in to the crumbs. And Stir it around a bit until all the crumbs have um, are coated with butter. And then just add a little bit of seasoning. I've got salt and pepper. So I'll just, I don't know, that's maybe a quarter teaspoon or a little bit more of salt. But you do it to your own taste. A little bit of black pepper, smoked paprika, very nice flavor that adds, and a little bit of dried parsley flakes. And just stir it all up and set that aside until you're ready to uh, put the casserole in the oven. Um, now I'm gonna grate the cheese. Uh, the recipe calls for four cups, so I'm going to grate up this Gruyere, see how much I get, and uh, then I'll add grated cheddar to make it a total of four cups. Okay, so the pasta is all cooked and waiting. Now I'm going to uh, melt five tablespoons of butter in a big pot. Then once the butter is melted, I'm going to stir in five tablespoons of all-purpose flour and cook that for a little bit until it gets like a nutty fragrance and very, very slightly darkens. Um, that mixture, the flour and the butter, is called roux and it's used to thicken liquids. Um, the, the flour is the actual thickening agent, but if you tried to put just flour into a liquid, it would glop up and be messy and not do what you want it to do. The melted butter helps the flour disperse evenly into the hot liquid. Okay, the butter is melted. Uh, that's five tablespoons of butter, five tablespoons of all-purpose flour, and I've got a wooden spoon here. Okay, the roux is cooking away. Uh, the consistency is like wet sand, and um, I've, our, I've got my milk ready to whisk into it. I warmed it up in the microwave. Um, and obviously you could warm it up in a pot or any way you want. Just, it needs to be warm. It just works a lot better that way. So, I'm whisking it in a little bit at a time. That's one cup. And then 
here's the other four cups. So once I've got it all whisked in nice and smooth, I'm gonna go back to the wooden spoon. So I'm just, I need to cook it, stirring it continuously until it thickens up. Okay, so now this white sauce has thickened up a little bit. It's not super duper thick because the cheese is gonna add a lot to that. I'm gonna add the cheese in now. Two cups of cheddar, two cups of Gruyere, and one and a half cups of Parmesan. Again, you decide what kind of cheeses you wanna use and use those. Once the cheese melts, we're gonna season the sauce with a little bit of salt, pepper, nutmeg, and just a pinch of red cayenne now pepper. The sauce is seasoned, and I'm dumping in this uh, pasta, which, um, again, I cooked to be a little bit less than the package directions because it's gonna cook some more when we get into that oven. Oven's preheated to 375 degrees. And I'm just gonna mix this all together. Okay, I have two baking pans that I sprayed with cooking spray, and I'm just gonna ladle the mac and cheese into them. And the reason I have two is because um, my son doesn't like the crumb topping, so I'm making two different dishes of it, one with crumbs and one without. So I'm gonna... Uh, and also, um, you could, at this point, just eat the macaroni and cheese without baking it. But again, it's a little slightly different dish that way. So, okay. I'm gonna get that crumb topping that we made at the very beginning and sprinkle that on. So I'm, I got those crumbs that we made at the beginning and I'm sprinkling that onto one of the dishes. After that, we just pop it in the oven for maybe 30 minutes so they get nice and bubbly. And I'll show you what that looks like when they come out. Okay, so these baked for about 30 minutes and they, they're out of the oven, they've cooled a little bit. Um, this one looked a little bare on top before I threw it in the oven, so I just put a little bit of um, cheese on, on the top. That's mozzarella because I happen to have it. And, um, this is it. It is nice and gooey and it looks delicious. Wanna try some? Wicked good. Mm. Thanks for watching. This is Ellen from Somerville Public Library. See you next time.